Ladies, gentlemen, cherries, berries, and autographed pictures of your favorite actress. My name's Timo Redbeard. You're watching another Timo Redbeard video. Today, we are showing you, or I am showing you, how to build cool fireplaces for your builds. That is fireplaces that are built into walls with extended chimneys and also central fireplaces ready to hold your long haul up and give a half that everyone can crowd around. If you do like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to press that notification bell. I do stream on Twitch from Monday to Friday, starting at 3 p.m. GMT, and I would love to catch you there. Links in the description below. Let's jump straight into this. So to build the first design of the inset hearth, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your stone blocks and you want to build your wall in by an additional two meters. So if this is your wall right here, Two meters on is where you're going to be wanting to place your inset for your hearth. Now, if you're going for a single hearth, then you just want it to be four meters long. Like so. And I've already said it. I've said like so, and we're only a few moments into the video. Incredible. Then once we've built our inset like so, what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to take out these two blocks and we're going to want to place arches halfway along like so and then replace these blocks to cover up half of them. And that's going to give us the ledge that we need to build our overhang. And then of course, close up the top of the overhang and you have space enough for smoke to travel up the chimney and a lovely little overhang for your fireplace. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your hearth and I like to snap it in like so, but of course you can, if it's more your preference, have it poking out like so also. And don't mind me, I'm just taking out the floor as we go. Anyway, we're gonna place our hearth snapped in like that. Give it some wood. And we've got the basic shape right there. Now, I personally like to line off this bit with wood. You can, of course, use dark wood as well. Um, whatever's to your fancy, really. Add some item stands up here. I find the best look is to go for a big boss trophy in the middle. And then two smaller trophies either side. Here, we're using iron sledges. Here, we've got Ikthir's trophy and then two deer trophies. And, of course... You can use banners either side to create a nice little framing for your fireplace, like so. Now, the other method I have for creating inset chimneys or inset fireplaces is this one. And with this one, what you're going to want to do is do exactly the same thing, building your inset. And then the main difference here is going to be you're going to add pillars. Or you can do it with regular blocks as well if you want. It doesn't have to be pillars. It can be one by ones. Then we're going to put two arches up three meters into the air and close that off like so. And then, of course, at the top here, bring it all into a close like so. And you have a wonderful arch. Now, with this one, of course, you can fit the whole hearth into the hole like so give that some wood the hearth is obviously poking out now my favorite thing to do with this one is to grab some iron grates and to run them like so and we double them up in the middle there because obviously these don't two sides don't actually match up so if you went one way the whole way around it wouldn't match up so we go halfway on one side, halfway on the other, and double it up in the middle. You get quite a nice look in the middle here, and it also makes everything line up nice and perfectly. Creates a nice little overhang uh, to stop you from getting too close and getting burnt by the fire and the like. But you're still close enough to be able to refuel it, no problem at all. And then again, you can add some trophies or decorate it however you wish. Uh, adding banners onto the sides to frame it in 
however you feel like you want to to create your fireplace so those were the edge of the room chimneys now we're going to look at the middle of the room chimneys these are chimneys that sit right in the very middle of say your long hall or the like placing your hearth the whole way up the hall or in the very center of your hall and can be very very useful as they can be structural support for your roof in the most high place that the roof is going to be which is off in the very middle and so we have two different types of chimneys here that both function very similarly the first what you're going to need is some stone pillars and you're just going to want to run them in the corners like so and then you're going to want to grab a door place it like that against one of the pillars grab your hearth and snap it to the door to make sure the hearth is centered in the middle of all these pillars then once that's done you're going to want to place more stone pillars and these can go up as high as you need or as low as you need depending on where your roof is if it's a tall roof it's a short roof doesn't really matter and then how i like to bring the sort of decorations to this is by using dark wood i like to take dark wood and i like to first frame in a lip like a so <laughs> and then i like to frame off the pillars like this and again this is purely my decorative penchants should we say you can of course do it however you want to do it and we'll just frame up here as well like this and once you've got that what i then like to do is take x pieces and of course again you can decorate to your style completely filling in all the gaps above the line that we put in there with these x's which creates a textured look that smoke cannot escape through smoke cannot pass through these x's whatsoever even though that they are full of gaps uh, meaning that your smoke is walled off and also it will look quite nice running up to your ceiling and the last thing that i like to do is just grab a couple of 45 degree diagonals and come down like this on either side to make it look like the x's are connecting to the stone in every place now another thing that i love to do with this style of chimney is actually to get banners and again we're going to go with the red banners here and snap them the sun is really not there we go snap them underneath the lip right here to add some color to the walls of your chimney and here is one that i did the whole way around earlier and i feel like those banners just really add some life to those sections of stone those pillars creates a bit more of a homely feel of a nice looking feel right here and last but not least what i like to call the thick with two c's wood style of chimney and again if you've seen some of my other videos link in the top of your screen right now then you'll remember these thick designs and what we do is place them much like the pillar like so four beams and then we're going to take one meter wood beams let me zoom in nice and close here hold shift to free place and build our thick with two c's wood beams out like this now it's always important to remember which one is the one that's actually snapped onto the edge because that's going to be important when we're building out the top arch section to make it all snap properly and look clean and well proper but once we've got all of these free placed down like so we're then just going to build up like this and the reason that we offset them with the one meter beams is just so that it looks good <laughs> really um because it looks a bit weird if they're all, all the seams are at the exact same point uh whereas if we do it like this the seams are all um 
sort of like balanced weirdly against each other and offset and staggered. And it ends up looking very clean, very attractive. And clean and attractive is kind of what we want. Unless you're into dirty and not attractive, then I guess that uh, this tutorial was not really for you. Uh, so once we've got our four pillars like so, we're going to want to place our 26 degree wood walls like so. And remember to snap them to the beam that we snapped to the corner of the stone wood. Because if we don't do that, then none of it's going to line up properly. And that makes for a Sag Timo. And let's do our best not to make Timo Sag if we don't have to, right? So then we're just going to close in this section with a half wall. And we're going to come in with our inverted 26s. And we're going to just snap them to the underside of these. Of course, we try to snap them here. Then they're not going to line up properly because this is an entire beam over. So we're going to snap them to the underside here. Like a so. Just going to keep saying it until you guys expect me to say it all the time. And then I'll be happy. Place a couple of beams there and there. And then once you've done that, we're just going to do the whole thing again. But this time it's a lot easier because we just snap it straight onto where we want it to go. Boom, boom, boom. Skibbity boom. She wop de wop. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> And final pieces. We have our thick fireplace. Then placing the hearth. What we're going to want to do is we're going to line up our cursor halfway down the stone block here in the middle of the line. Then we're going to get our hammer out so that the hearth is there. Click it. Boom. That's now centered up. I'm out of wood. That's a shame. I can't light this fire. Um, but there you have your wonderful thick with two C's hearth chimney. And of course, from here, you can build upwards. So you can, of course, build. You can keep going up with your beams like so up to wherever your ceiling is. You could even get rid of the tops of these arches and just go flat walled. And then just keep going flat walled the whole way up if that was your jam. Or you can do whatever you really want. Nobody can stop you. It's beautiful. If you have liked this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday starting at 3 p.m. GMT. Here's some light for you. And I'd love to catch you there. The link is in the description below, as is the Discord and the Patreon links. Appreciate you very much. Take care. Peace out.